Okay, so the van's going to be a little bit of a mess, but we had a pretty awesome big rain this morning. And look what I found. Look at this. It goes all the way up and over and down there. Thank goodness I found it while I'm at a place where I can work on it. 90% sure it's coming from this rusty place here that was, I don't know, that place there. Um, we found out we also have water leaks up in the front here. On that window there, there's a gap at the bottom where it wasn't sealed real well. Thought I was going to be on the road today. I have to go to work tomorrow. So I'm going to be delayed today and uh, have to fix this and see if I can get my work clients to take a postponement. So you just don't give up. You keep working. Okay, we did a little bit more looking and found the other leak. I am there and I had asked the previous owner and they said it was old and resolved, but it is not. So, thank goodness I found it before. It was much worse. And uh, we'll see if it... And of course, you can see right there, it's a really bad place in the car. So, that's what we're doing today. Okay, so I'm inside now, finally. Um, working out in the hot, humid Florida July summer. Whew, thank goodness, lots of electrolytes and hydrating. So, um, got 90% of it fixed. Ended up having to use some Bondo um, uh, to fill in the gaps. And I'm going to show, there's going to be some pictures attached, still pictures, to show the before when we got all the rust out. And then um, the Bondo before it dried. And we're going to sand that tomorrow. And... Uh, and then uh, finish it up and um, so sorry for the and does <laughs> uh, I'm just so tired so you know in the end it's it's gonna be okay um, I'm so glad I found it while I was at a place that I could actually sit and work at it I'm in my uh, best friend's driveway and uh, that's who you see often in uh, in the video it's my best friend who's incredibly knowledgeable and um, you know, I can say, hey, I think it, we, I need to do this, and she'll say, it's a good idea, but try that. And uh, so she's just a wealth of knowledge, and she's really helping me. And uh, of course, two hands makes everything go much faster. Um, but you know, I wouldn't be able to do this all without her help. Um, so um, it's drying today. Tomorrow we're gonna sand and get that done. Um, I did get the solar finished yesterday. I'm just finishing up that uh, video. I just have to add a couple little things to it so you can see the solar, the exterior. Oh, I know what I want to do with the solar. So I want to show you uh, the exterior, what I did, and then um, interior. Um, so that'll be my next video. So basically for that, I did a um, 175-watt uh, Renogy uh, flexible panel to the roof of the van and then run the cables in through the air conditioning vent and then into the van and um, it's going to sound over the top but I have a 1200 watt um, Goal Zero Yeti um, power bank and it's a lot but it's one that I already had and I um, for my house. I live in Florida right now and um, it was so I can run my refrigerator and stove and stuff in case of a hurricane and you know sometimes we have like week-long two week-long power outages due to storms here so um, I already had it it's uh, extremely good you know high-powered well running I've used it I know it works and so I just I'm gonna use it to run my van why not um, 
It's a little bit of overkill, but I'll be able to boondock a lot with it. So um, that video hasn't been done yet because I want to show it coming into the power bank. So, um, but yeah, so right after I get done talking, there'll be some still pictures of the rust that was on um, up at the top where there's like a little rain gutter where the fiberglass top meets the van. Um, and again, you know, I kind of talked to a previous owner about it and uh, she acted like it was a no, a, a non issue. And, uh, but yeah, one of them, you could see all the way into the van. It was like a hole in my van. So thank goodness I found it and was able to deal with it. And then I had, you know, somebody who knew more than me uh, to help me out with it. So, ta-da, we got more done. I'm so happy. And again, so lucky. We had a massive six o'clock rain this morning. I went out to, uh, you know, kind of do, uh, the van's like really dirty from all the work we did. So I was gonna clean it up, put things away. And I saw it. I was like, whoa, gotta fix this. So there we go. You know, if it's not one thing, it's another. I got that from Roseanne, Roseanne Adana, for those of you who remember her. Okay, thanks. Um, oh, I know I don't usually say this, but you know, it does help if you guys like um, my videos. It lets me know I'm on the right track. I love the comments. Thank you so much for the comments. If you feel like this is something you kind of want to see um, on the regular, subscribing would be awesome. Um, this isn't going to be a hardcore thing that I do, but I really just kind of really want to help people and inspire and show like, you know, you can do this. Um, you can buy an old van and um, you can do what you need to upgrade it. You know, of course, I started with a, you know, road truck is an awesome rig. I love my road truck. Even with all these little things that happen, I still love her. She's my, she's my big old girl and I love her. So, um, you can do this. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm 62, you know, you can do this. Well, almost 62. So, okay, say there'll be some still pictures of the rust. Um, we'll do another video. There's a little bit of rust right at the bottom of the windshield. Uh, that we'll get to this it's not um, nothing's leaking right now so I'm gonna you know put out fires as I need to. so thanks again and uh, well the dogs just spilled the, their food so that's what that weird noise was and took my attention so um so cool and stay for the pictures <laughs>